Let's begin with those corruption charges that rock the highest levels of state government finally taking center stage in a Chicago courtroom today. Opening statements began in the case of former House Speaker Michael Madigan. He served 50 years in the General Assembly and led the state Democratic Party. Now he faces 23 federal charges. Our political reporter Marianne Ahern live at the Dirksen Federal Courthouse with the latest this evening. Marianne. Good evening, Stephen. Mike Madigan on trial. Those are four words many never expected to hear. It is billed as one of the biggest public corruption trials ever in Illinois, and we've seen a few. Madigan from the southwest side, but his power extended beyond that district. In fact, he was chairman, as you mentioned, of the Democratic Party, and he often controlled who ran for office from the Democratic Party throughout the General Assembly. And not only that, what bills were passed and whether they would live or die. The man known as the Velvet Hammer, 82-year-old Mike Madigan, spoke softly but wielded power that governors coveted. Madigan, who had been Speaker of the House for nearly 40 years, stepped down in 2021, charged a year later, 23 counts, extortion, bribery, racketeering, and wire fraud. His co-defendant is his close confidant, Mike McClain. Federal prosecutor Sarah Stryker described Madigan as, quote, the most powerful member of the Illinois General Assembly, and he traded the power of public office for private gain. It is a complicated case that includes allegations Madigan accepted business for his private law firm and then in turn steered legislation that would favor those clients. Stryker added, Quote, this trial is not about whether Madigan was good at politics or not good at politics. What this case is about, that the defendant accepted benefits worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to influence legislation. Key to this case, the wiretapped phone calls from former alderman Danny Solis, who is now a federal informant. Solis agreed to cooperate and will be a witness in this case and has admitted to engaging in bribery unrelated to Madigan. Also key, Madigan did not have a cell phone or even used email, but his close confidant, Mike McLean, did. Madigan's defense attorney, Tom Breen, says Madigan is not this all-powerful individual. He's not attempting financial gain at the cost of his oath. That's not who this guy is. Earlier today, Governor Pritzker weighed in on how this case impacts the public perception of elected officials. People getting caught and tried, and in some cases, many cases convicted, uh, is a good thing because it says something to people who are thinking about maybe doing some corrupt act that maybe that's a bad idea because you're going to get caught. Uh, you're being watched. In the courtroom today for those opening statements, Madigan's wife, Shirley, as well as his daughter, the former Illinois Attorney General, Lisa Madigan. Madigan is sitting at the top of the defense table with his team of four, often taking notes. Reporting live from the Dirksen Courthouse, Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News. Marianne, thank you.